what's going on today youtube we got another video similar to yesterday's it's going to be the best smgs in season five of warzone if you happen to like today's video make sure you drop a like subscribe and also follow me on twitch everyone say hi to duke also don't forget to check out my new series noob to apex predator i'm liking apex legends a lot lately so i might be maining that alongside warzone 2 when that comes out anyways i'll see you guys on the next one so for the first build we're going to have the vanguard ppsh you're going to use recoil booster the bo3 barrel which is your second barrel slate reflector or whatever scope you like it doesn't really matter you're not going to be aiming in much remove stock tight grip and quick i like to use fabric um this is interchangeable with taped and i believe stippled um but fabric for me works the best 71 nambu rounds the banana clip subsonic or lengthened i use subsonic and pretty much anytime you see me use subsonic it's going to be because i want to stay off the radar m19 steady grip X is going to be my all-time favorite this season. I know people have been using different barrels, different mag sizes. They are liars. They've always been liars. They always will be liars. So recoil booster, F3 barrel, slate reflector, remove stock, leet and quick, taped grip, 54 rounds, 7.62 Garenko. Uh, again, subsonic for the same reasons. And SG-98 compact. The only thing you can change on this is the ammunition. You can use lengthened, but honestly, it, it's not necessary. Next is going to be the Armagera. Now there's two variations to this. This. there's this one with the c2 barrel or you can use the precision barrel but you're going to want to use recoil booster one of those two barrels slate reflector skeletal stock steady and quick taped grip 60 round mag nine millimeter subsonic or lengthened and i like to use the sg98 compact some people like to use the mark 6 skeletal next is going to be the marco a recoil booster your emeretto 04p barrel slate reflector emeretto fr stock frenzy and quick tape grip 64 round eight millimeter drum lengthened on this one you can use subsonic and there's also a variation you can use mark 6 skeletal as well so the variation will be the m19 silencer lengthened or you can use lengthened with this build or subsonic next is going to be the cold war ugr i like to use the Groose suppressor task force barrel tiger team spotlight skeletal stock and spetsnaz field group next we're going to have the vanguard sten uh you're going to use the recoil booster rapid barrel slate reflector para grip acrobatic and quick fabric grip 50 round drum don't use that 36 round mag that thing sucks the only problem with this is when you're tax printing you're not going to be able to see your screen so that's kind of a drawback um hollow point lengthened or subsonic will work on this and then hand stop next will be the type 100 now a lot of people like to use the rapid barrel on this I don't really think it works that well. This is more of a sniper support SMG. Has some pretty good range, I believe 40 to 50 meters. Recall booster, 374 barrel, slate, grip folding stock, acrobatic and quick, tape grip, 48 round drum, subsonic or lengthened, and Mark VI skeletal. Now we have some honorable mentions. These aren't very good. Uh, I wouldn't use these over the other ones, but if you're just trying to have fun, use something different, here are the builds. You have the Modern Warfare MP5. Use the Integral Suppressor on the barrel. Five milliwatt laser, FTAC collapsible stock, 45 round mag, and Merc foregrip. Lastly, we have the Cold War MP5. I like to use Agency Suppressor, Task Force Barrel, Tiger Team Spotlight, 50 round drum and bruiser grip. Now you can change this. You can use the bruiser grip or instead of the bruiser grip, you can use the collapse stock. 